What's up guys? Welcome to another video. This is your Tactical Power Pro, the channel where knowledge is scoring times voltage. And in today's video, we'll be working on a power stroke, 5,000 watts. Uh, this generator starts fine with no issues, but it's not producing any power. So we will give it a quick start. So you guys can see there's no engine problem. Uh, but then we'll be, we will be testing at the outlets and see that there's no power in there. All right, let's go. We should have 120 coming up in the uh, So one of the first things you can do with a generator that is not producing power is testing the resistance of the stator through your outlets. So this is a uh, 120 to 40 volts. So it has two lines, two faces. So you want to test resistance on both on each line. So let's get a multimeter, put it on uh, ohms, check for resistance, make sure you got continuity. And you should have between 0.3 to 0.5. So when we check there, we have 0.4. So we got 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4 ohms. Okay. The same length. That sits at 0.4. Let's check the other, other line. That one sits at point four as well. Let's check the bottom. Just to make sure. Also sits at point four. So that's telling me that the stator on the generator is good. So the next step we will move into will be check your carbon brushes. Now that we're comfy on the floor and we have a nice background, let's get into uh, the carbon brushes. Carbon brushes are located in the alternator uh, cover, behind the alternator cover. So once you remove that, you'll be able to clearly identify what are the carbon brushes. So the cover's out. Here you have a better look of what's behind the alternator cover. This black box right here is your voltage regulator. If you follow the red and black wires, they go to your brushes. So this black piece with that uh, bolt, that's where your uh, your brushes are located. That, that assembly had two carbon brushes that they ride on your uh, slip rings. So that's how uh, voltage make, they makes continuity for electricity to go through for the generator to create a voltage. On 
Send us out. Let's undo the wires that go to your carbon brush. Now let's remove the carbon brush assembly. Got an 8 millimeter socket. Should be able to pull that bolt out. Bolt out. Look at this. Let's see how they look. don't look bad but they don't look too even to me so they might not be touching the slip run like they're supposed to we'll see might get in there and clean the slip rings too see if uh, make it help help it make better contact and then we will try to start it again and uh, see if that fixes the issue. If not, we move on to the next one, which would be your uh, voltage regulator. So I looked around my garage and I have a, a few other uh, carbon brushes sitting around. So I will be replacing them to see if that uh, fix the issue. Uh, they look pretty similar. So I'm gonna add the new ones and see if they fit. Okay, so after I installed the carbon brushes, I went ahead and made sure they were making good contact at the slip rings. Then I grabbed my multimeter and tested the resistance of the rotor through the carbon brushes and the slip rings. And surprise, surprise, there was no continuity at all from the rotor. So that tells me that there's an opening between the carbon brush, the slip rings, and the rotor. So I went ahead and started doing a more in-depth inspection of the rotor. Starting to look around the rotor windings and see if, it's, if there's anything burnt, anything uh, loose, anything broken, uh, especially in the connections in between the rotors and the slip rings. So I started looking around, peeking through the small holes and see what I can find. I found the first connection from the rotor to the slip rings and it looked okay. But when I look at the second connection, that's where I found this right here. There was a break from the rotor windings to the connection of the slip rings. So that break right there is the reason of why this generator has no power output. This generator is going to need a new rotor or a new generator head and honestly, if you got this issue in your generator, you're better off buying a new generator because most likely the generator ahead will cost more than the generator itself. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate your support. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.